Hey, good morning. This is Doug Schultz coming to you live from the Chicago Midwinter Dental Meeting. We're here today to show you the new Seric Chairside Surgical Guide from Serona, a single day or single visit surgical guide that we can place implant guided. The hottest thing in implant dentistry right now. So what we're going to do here is originally we're going to take an impression and form a model of the implant site that we're going to deal with. And what it requires is that we take a thermoplastic material, something like tack, that can be placed in hot water and softened so that we can mold and adapt that to the model. Once we mold the material, we will soften it, place it on the model, form it, and take one of three implant scan guides, which we have a large, we have a medium, and we have a small indenter or x-ray aid that we will place in the thermoplastic. Each one of these guides has six barium beads in it so that we get the orientation like any SCICAT guide. The importance is that we have to have some orientation so that the, the scan will pick up the beads and we are able to pick three beads out of this scan guide to orient this with our scan and our model. So this implant site requires a medium indenter. So once we form this and place this down, we're going to insert this down to the gingival level and we're going to let this harden up. Now from the model, we're going to transfer this surgical guide. This surgical guide now can be transferred to the patient's mouth. So we're going to put it in the patient's mouth and now we're going to go over to the Galileo's machine and we're going to scan this patient. We've got our, our SciCat, or we've got our Galileo scan here, and what we're going to do is we're going to go use the implant software over here to choose an implant for tooth number three. So we're going to pick on the tooth, and we're going to pick the, the kind of implant we're going to use today, and we're going to use a Stroman bone level implant. Oh, and let's choose a 4-1, and let's try about a 10 millimeter implant. So we're going to say OK, and now we're going to just drop this implant into the extraction site. And now when I go to my implant planning software here, I can manipulate the position of the implant. I can rotate it. I can look at it in various views. I can come to a, an occlusal cut. I can come to a sagittal cut. And once we've placed this implant, we're going to come down to our implant software and we're going to look at the sleeve placement. Now the sleeve in a regular SciCat surgical guide is going to be placed in the surgical guide by SciCat over in Germany. But what we're going to do today is we're going to mill an acrylic sleeve that's going to go into our chairside surgical guide. So we're going to pick the sleeve and we're going to change the sleeve system. So now when you look at whether you're going to do a Stroman guided surgery or whether you're going to do a Serona chairside surgical guide. So we're going to pick Serona Seric guide and we're going to say OK. And now what we're going to do is close out of this, say OK. And now we're going to go down and get a surgery report. So we've got the position of the implant. We've chosen the sleeve. And now we're going to develop our surgery report. Now, if we were going to use a traditional surgical guide from SciCat, we'd choose this. But down on the bottom now, we have an export for the file that we're going to export to a thumb drive. And we're going to transfer that to our Seric machine. So we're going to say, choose this one. Here's our information. We're going to export that. From this point, we're going to go back over to our Seric machine, and we're going to mill our, our chairside surgical sleeve. So now that we've, we've done our implant planning on our Galileo software, we're going to bring that file back and just place it on the desktop of our Seric machine.
once, once we've opened up our CEREC program here, we're going to go and import a case. So we import and we go to our desktop and we now search for a new file, a DXD file. We're going to have a drop down menu with a DXD file and we're going to open that and we're going to search for the file that we put on the desktop and here it is. We'll double click that and this will open up the file and now you will see the CEREC sleeve system that we will mill out of our Serona millable block. So there's nothing we need to do here other than start our milling process, insert our block, and wait about eight minutes for this to mill out, and now we'll have the surgical sleeve which will go in our chair side surgical guide. Now that we've, we've had our, our millable guide and we have our indenter or x-ray aid in the surgical guide, we have now milled our surgical sleeve. The surgical sleeve has the exact footprint that our indenter has. So the surgical sleeve will now get inserted into our surgical guide and it snaps into place so we have a very stable and accurate surgical guide. We have the orientation of the implant, the angle, and we have the depth of the implant placement. Now that we have chair-side surgical guides available, it'll be really fun to have that patient who wants to place an implant immediately. We've done the consultation, we've done the treatment planning with him, and he wants to do it today. So now instead of waiting seven to 10 days for a surgical guide to come back from Germany, we can fabricate our surgical guide in, in maybe an hour. And so if we had an appointment available in the afternoon, we could do the treatment in the morning, place the implant in the afternoon. It wouldn't take us probably more than 10 or 15 minutes to place the implant with the same accuracy that we do with every other surgical guide that we use with Galileos and Sarah.